How to set up or install Google reCAPTCHA on a website. The reason why you should use Google reCAPTCHA is because of bots. A bot is a computer program. People use bots to break into a website. People use bots to make your website look like it received millions of visitors, which is called spam. Spam can slow down a website and even stop a website from working. A bot can register or log in millions of people on a website. And people who are not real people. Plus, a bot can even put bad comments on a website. A person can use a bot to write a bad review of your product or service, and use a bot to put this bad review on millions of websites in minutes. However, all bots are not bad. Google and other website services use bots to monitor your website, and communicate with the software or plugins you use for your website. reCAPTCHA allows a website to know if the person that is visiting the website is a real person. Thus, reCAPTCHA helps to stop bots. There are three kinds of reCAPTCHA. reCAPTCHA v2, reCAPTCHA v3, and reCAPTCHA Enterprise. reCAPTCHA v2 is no longer very useful, because there are now free computer programs that can bypass the reCAPTCHA v2. For example, if you go to this website and pay a small fee, then you will be able to bypass over 1000 reCAPTCHA v2. reCAPTCHA Enterprise is great, but you have to know some coding or programming to use it. What they mean by coding compared to what the average person means by coding are two different things. Therefore, if you want to use Google reCAPTCHA, it is best to use Google reCAPTCHA v3. There is no place in WordPress that will allow you to run Google reCAPTCHA on your website. To use Google reCAPTCHA, you have to install a plugin, such as a page builder plugin, an e-commerce plugin, a subscription plugin, or a login and registration plugin. Plus, unless you are a developer or a programmer, to set up Google reCAPTCHA, you have to use the Google reCAPTCHA website. You cannot use Google Workspace to set up reCAPTCHA v3. You cannot use Google Cloud Platform to set up reCAPTCHA v3. Plus, you need a Google account, like Gmail. I will put the link to the Google reCAPTCHA website in the description below. There might be a way to translate the Google reCAPTCHA website into another language, but it is complicated. This is why I left this page in English. Google reCAPTCHA is easy and straightforward to set up and install. Even without knowing English, you should be able to set up and install Google reCAPTCHA. See this icon at the top. The icon that says V3 Admin Console. This is the icon you want to click. You do not want to click the other two icons. On this page, make sure you check the reCAPTCHA v3 icon. At the top, give it any name you like. You will not be able to add a domain until you check the box labeled Accept the reCAPTCHA Terms of Service. At the bottom, click the Submit button. In this part, type the domain name you are using for your website. I know it says domains, but you are only allowed to put one domain at a time. If you have more than one domain, you have to set up a separate reCAPTCHA v3 for each domain. Now, click the submit button at the bottom. This page gives you the reCAPTCHA v3 keys. One key is the site key, and the other key is the secret key. Copy each key because you will need to install these keys in the plugin. Now, at the bottom, click Go to Settings. On this page, click the box that says Allow this key to work for AMP pages. You might not be using any AMP pages, but if the plugin you are using doesn't upgrade and start using AMP pages, then this will ensure that reCAPTCHA will work on every page of your website. Now, at the bottom, click Save. This page will tell you if there are events or visitors where there might be bots visiting your website. Right now, there should be no data on this page, but in the future, once you start getting visitors, this page will fill with data. Every time you log in, you will automatically be taken to this page. This number tells me what percent of my visitors might be bots. This green line tells me that any number below 0.5 might be a bot. However, all bots are not bad. 
Google search engine uses bots to index what kind of website you have. The good bots will not leave bad comments, try to break into your website, or try to log into your website. For this demonstration, I installed a plugin called User Registration. It is a plugin I picked at random. To install reCAPTCHA for any plugin, first go to Settings, and then click the tab Integration. Now, click the reCAPTCHA v3 box, and paste the keys in their correct locations in the plugin. The key at the top will always be the site key, and the key at the bottom will always be the secret key. As you can see, reCAPTCHA is not showing on the website. For this plugin, until I create a user registration page, reCAPTCHA will not show. Plus, this plugin is not designed to work on every page of a website, and therefore reCAPTCHA will not show on every page of a website. For my real website, I created a user registration page. Thus, you can see the reCAPTCHA at the bottom of this user registration page. Plus, you can see the reCAPTCHA at the bottom of the login page. Therefore, my registration page and login page are protected. However, it is best to have reCAPTCHA protect the whole website and not just the registration page and the login page. You can do this through the pro version of many page builder plugins. This is the free version of the page builder plugin called Elementor, and as you can see, there is no place to install the reCAPTCHA keys. Thus, the free version of Elementor does not allow you to use reCAPTCHA. This is the paid or pro version of the page builder plugin called Elementor, and as you can see, there are places to install the reCAPTCHA keys. As you saw earlier, reCAPTCHA is installed, and it is working on the registration page and the login page. As you can see here, reCAPTCHA is not showing for the whole website. Therefore, it is not working on every page of my entire website. After I installed an update for Elementor, reCAPTCHA stopped working for the whole website. Now it only works for the login page. To get reCAPTCHA to work for the whole website, I had to install a plugin called Advanced No CAPTCHA and Invisible CAPTCHA. I will not go into details on how to install and activate a plugin, because I know you already know how. I am just going to install and activate this plugin. After being taken back to the plugin page, click Settings. I have installed the reCAPTCHA keys and selected V3. This plugin allows you to install reCAPTCHA on login pages, registration pages, checkout pages, and forum pages. Since I have other plugins for these functions, and they are using reCAPTCHA, I do not want to use this plugin for these functions. Having more than one plugin doing the same function will mess up your website, and might stop your website from working correctly. Never have more than one plugin doing the same thing or function. It will mess up your website. So, do not do it. Now, reCAPTCHA is showing on every page of my real website. Thus, now my whole website is protected. For my demonstration website, since I am not using the paid or pro version of a page builder plugin, as you can see, reCAPTCHA is not working. If you like this video, then hit subscribe so that YouTube will show it to more people.